Ooh, welcome back to Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Oh, we got a lot to do today. Bring it. Let's get right to it. Well, first sure thing we gotta man. do is, well, maybe the important thing is to head back to the Aegon Wastes. All the way back there? All the way back there. Oh, I mean, that's that's, that's where we were, and we decided to take a detour and collect some the missile expansions. We were seeing the sights and sounds of the Dark World. It's fine. We, we were upping our arsenal, we saw the Dark World, and now that we've got space boots and, you know, some other extra things, we're ready to, 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 to keep going. Yeah, you kind of hyped up a boss fight, and I can't wait to see this. Well, it's going to be good. But we get, but uh, we got a lot of things to do. So, um, as it turns out, <laughs> the space pirates are here. Okay. Well, we know. Yeah. We know this. Yeah, we, we do know this. Unfortunately. And I think they're a little bit connected to this portal somehow, or at least they're <laughs> at least they're utilizing it. But point is, they're here and they're established, kind of like Bravo Team was. So we need to go and see what's going on there. Yeah, they kind of got destroyed, just like Bravo Team too, when it came to the Ing. Well, when the space pirates show up, nothing good ever comes out of it. Oh, definitely not. So let's go. Let's go ruin their ship. Actually, I think they're perfectly capable of ruining their own shit. Well, we're here to ruin it so, a, a little more. Yeah. Honestly, I think at this point, if we wanted to really ruin their shit, we just press the on button. <laughs> then it starts exploding. You know, all the doctors that put Ridley back together, they're just like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> well, there's also a lot of lore that we got to catch up on, too. I'm down for lore. Got to figure out what the space pirates are up to. What their story is. Why are they here? Maybe it's just the Let's Play format that makes me really interested in lore, but I know for a fact when I was playing Metroid Prime, I barely ever scanned anything. I know, because I just want to play the game. I don't care about reading stuff. Right, right, right. But here, I'm here to give you that all important context. I'm your captain. I'm your captain. And now we're going to check out some lore, I guess. See, that's why I really enjoyed a lot of the Something Awful Let's Plays back when the forums were open, mm -hmm. because a lot of the people. The description of Let's Play was, it's like the director's commentary for the game you're watching. And if you have comedy, that's a nice bonus. And I think a lot of people forgot about the, you know, being knowledgeable about the game or showing off the best, best parts of the game. I think it's because the blind, screamy Let's Plays became popular. I hate that. Thanks kind of to Proton John, but he had a certain charm to it. Oh, he had... I, I still think Ninja Gaiden is... That's the only way I beat it, is because he showed me how to beat it. I liked his Ninja Gaiden Let's Plays, yeah. From back in the day. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there, buddy. That, that's saying pushes. See, I think that we're in a happy medium between the Something Awful Let's Plays and the Grumps. Because we're knowledgeable about games, but we also dick around and make a bunch of dick jokes. <laughs> Not as many as we should. Time to up the ante. Time to up the... Yes, I, I, I guess hmm. so. Time to up the cataclysm. Cataclysm! Starborn terror burnt through the heavens and struck Aether with an untold might. Just we all like expected my the world to shatter, right? but Aether held. <laughs> there, were th there was great devastation, however. The green plains of Aegon were scorched forever, and the forests of Torvus were engulfed and racked by the sea. Oh. The skies burned for days, casting darkness over the land. Oh. That's bad. Very. That's, like, really bad. Ooh. All right, changing up the sands. The idea is you come here when you get the space jump boots, because you can, you know, oh. jump up here and stuff. Change the sand stream, and then we can just, just jump on in. Stunt jump! Woo! Nice! Yeah. And that, um... <laughs> oh, no! Uh, that's, that, that's bad. Oh, oh. please, no. Yeah, that's a couple of pirates. What's up, boys? Uh, hey, hey, guys. Uh, what, do you, what, what do you got there? Okay. And it's, it's, it's plates. Not to phase on the, the, the presence of phase on yeah. energy. They're doing it again. They didn't learn the lesson the first time. Well, check this out. Oh, did they explode? They're gone. Wow. You know, I love how the missile auto went to the pirate <laughs> instead of where you actually shot at it. But the splash damage took that took out the, the phase on, so, you know, explosive it, it all worked barrels. out. It all worked out. Swag shot. We actually added explosive barrels to Metroid. Nice. It, oh. And they're a little upset that we just did that. Just, just a little bit. But uh, the thing is, you guys ain't shit. You guys upgraded all your stuff, but still, charge shot, missile, and kills you. Yeah, they still get destroyed. Or two charge shots. I have, I have never seen such dysfunctional terrorists. 
these are like these are all Carlito style <laughs> space pirates here. Blunders as well. No, sh no shit. Yeah. Oh. All right. Second wave. There's more of them coming. Oh, they're kind of invisible. Too. They're 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 just they're just really mad. Yeah, I like that. I they're like they're that. really mad because I'm here, and you're, you're gonna see in the log notes they got enough problems as it is. Oh, they having having some bad times. They're also frightfully stupid. This well, is a this is a new turret that we got to scan, but uh, I got to get under here first. So, do you think these guys would be equally as effective, like as enemies, if they actually spoke like pirates? Uh, I don't know, but uh, yeah. Ooh, this is the vigilance class turret. It's just a big old turret, and I don't, I don't think that they're uh, very smart about this, because I can like, yeah. Where'd you go? Okay, sure, just right. Just, just uh. Just, and, oh, just, ow! Oh, another one got me. You, will you, will you knock that off. Okay, yeah, that hurt. That hurt a little bit. But you're okay. There we go. Oh my god, There's it one. takes two shots. Get the hell out of here. And whoop. Oh, wait. Almost. Wait. Wait. One. Ooh, that auto locks. That's and awesome. It, it does not auto lock. Well, it kind of. I saw it like snapped and shot a little to the right. Weird. Can't get up there yet, though, to explore the rest of their base, so all we have to do is go through here. Some storage units, if you need to refill your health from that and your missiles. <laughs> Wait, no, that has face on. Ah! No! <laughs> <laughs> This could have been avoided. Ugh. Looks a little uh. Don't like that. What is this door anyway? Dark energy may damage it. Dark energy. Hmm. Is it time for a dark beam? Is it time for a dark beam? I don't know. Well, there might be. I mean, we got plenty of beams in this game. Can't see why a dark beam wouldn't be one of them. That'd be kind of neat. But we got this under here. That looks... <laughs> kind of evil thing burrowed under here. I was, I was about to say, uh, ew. Alright, check oh. this out. These guys are, uh, too stupid to look down and see us. But we can see that they are They're... entering the dark portal. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. Also, I thought that was an alert meter on the bottom. No, that's just how close you are to electricity. To danger, yeah. yeah. Great. So they're heading into the dark world. Yep. Probably get zapped. I mean, the thing about the, the space pirates is that they're very, uh, headstrong. So even though things are going really bad for them, as we'll find out, they, they're they still keeping at it. Who's in command of the space pirates at this point, by the way? Ridley's dead. No, he's not, not, he's not all that dead. No. Oh. Maybe he still has a brain in a jar. Like he's the President Nixon it from might Futurama. Be. Is it Ravenbeak? Oh. Maybe. I mean... Oh. Wouldn't he's, that he's, be a twist? He's at least working closely with the space pirates Ooh. we learned from Dread, so I mean... Oh, uh, well. dude, you're giving me lore that may or may not be true. I mean, I, th I think that uh, he was, like, ready to, to start an invasion from the original Metroid, and then we came in and did stuff. Oh, that'd be so And cool. then he had to delay his plans, and now... <laughs> In, in Metroid Dread, here he is to try and uh, fix things. Anyway, more time. Let's go. So cool. Let's get let's get some actual lore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, cycle four. I think we're on like cycle seven or eight or something. Well, six six to eight. Science teams detected the presence of Phazon in the Dasha region. Oh, jeez. High command authorized the deployment of our team shortly thereafter. Our orders are to establish a base on planet Aether and evaluate local phase on resources because this world lies on the periphery of galactic federation territory we are following stealth protocols at the highest level a cater of elite commandos has been dispatched to provide security for our force as well this operation okay. is now underway so more phase on so they're, they're working in secret to, to do more phase on stuff and uh, well I'm here to put a put a dent in all those plans yeah. yuck, 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 yuck. all right last one from cycle four here log 48853. Intelligence reports on the indigenous population of Ether are in error! This, is, this planet is not at peace, nor are the inhabitants docile! <laughs> Evidence of a Class IV conflict is present here, though uh, hostilities are at a minimum level now. Our territory has suffered several raids by a strange type of shadowy creature! Huh. These raids have caused considerable damage, and we have requested more combat troops in response. So okay, they came at the height of the Aang taking over. Yeah, they don't like the Aang either! They're not friends! They just want to eat! All right, now we're in cycle five. Live log five zero zero eight six. Great discoveries. Okay, let's take a look at what good discoveries. A spatial anomaly has been found within our base. We believe this uh, 
Mm, rift in space-time leads to a parallel dimension of some type, but have been unable to interact with it thus far. A strange artifact was found near the anomaly as well. It may be a weapon or a generator of some kind. Perhaps it is the key to accessing the anomaly. High Command is eager for reports on the relic. A new weapon for our arsenal is always welcome. That sounds like something we need. They might have found the dark beam. Yeah? Interesting. Recorded. And last one from Cycle 5, Log 54421. Rift Portal. Ooh. What are they doing with these portals, eh? The Rift Portal has been opened. The artifact weapon, dubbed the Dark Beam ah, by no! Science Team, provides no! the energy needed to open the portal, although for a limited time. We've sent expeditions <laughs> through the portal, and they have returned with incredible news. The portal leads to a parallel version of Aether. This dark Aether has suffered a global calamity, turning it into a toxic wasteland. It is the homeworld of the shadowy creatures who have been raiding our base for the last cycle. Most importantly, it is the prime location of Phazon in this sector. Oh, no! All the Phazon is in Dark Aether! Are you kidding? No wonder it's all toxic. Shit! Fuck! <laughs> Damn! Among other things. Among other curse words! <laughs> so this Aether is an obscure word in the Dasha system. It's, 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 it's where Tra we are! Transdimensional flux warfare has devastated a good portion of the world's population. Extreme climate shifts have left most of- Ooh, wow. It's because of all the dark energy and all that. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. And of course, Dark Aether. Surprisingly similar to regular ether. The transdimensional duplicate of planet ether. Origin of Aether's dark twin contains high level of Phazon, so Phazon is the duplicator. Phazon is it's what's duplicating this. There's some kind of catalyst. What is causing this? Hmm. What caused this to begin with? I wonder if we know. Log 62217. Oh, Phazon yeah. raids. Here I, we go. I, I gotta see this. Alright. Phazon extraction raids are underway on dark ether. The toxicity of all the atmosphere has taken a toll on our workforce, as have the hostile natives of that world. Science team is, uh, preparing survival gear to protect our work teams, and we have increased our security presence in extraction areas. Fortunately, High Command is sending more troops and supplies. Our troops and resources are spread dangerously thin, and this mission cannot fail. I've got some bad news for you. Mm -hmm. It's gonna fail. Yeah, just bad. like the other plan. That one shouldn't have failed either, but, uh, we came in. Very nice, very nice. I'm liking the lore dumps we have here. The portal that they went through is closed by now. That's what, that's what they mean by limited time, so if we want to reopen that, we're gonna need the dark beam. You know, and, uh, they think they're being clever, but I know my way around this place. Hello! Goodbye. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! So I wonder if the developers of this game were uh, big fans of Beast Wars. I see you too. Not sure. Cause They're probably definitely fans of Alien though. Phazon just reminds me of Energon. Really? Yep. It was blue. It, uh, it oh, gave oh. It power. Hello, it's, beautiful. It's Dark Samus. Oh, she's got feet. Oh, it's weird. Weird claw feet. It's strange. Ew. Yeah. Uh, hey, let me through. Uh, oh, man. All right, we gotta get through there. We gotta go the long way around though. Can we open the door from here, please? We, we can. I must chase her. But not that door. Damn it! We gotta go the long way around. Well, so we gotta fine. we gotta open this door. It's fine. See, she showed up. That's not good news. No, it isn't. I mean she's out of the dark world. She yeah, she was hanging around mostly in the dark world. Now she's come over here. She just kinda comes and goes when she pleases. Yeah, and every time she shows up, she just insults me. It's yeah, not, it's yeah. Not nice. Oh, oops. There we go. <laughs> Just superhero lands on the floor. Sup, bitch. <laughs> huh. Dark oh, Samus. Oh. oh, another turret here. This is the humility class <laughs> turret. <laughs> it's a space pirate defense system. It kind of stinks. It only shoots people with high humility. Well, I have no shame, so uh, die! <laughs> right, no I, shame! All right. Can I get a little bit of mis uh, Mission Impossible Ooh. theme here? Dun, 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 oh, wait, we dun, don't want to get dun. copywritten. Ba ba boo! Ba ba ba! Ba ba ba! Okay, we did it. Ba ba ba! Hey, where are you gonna get it? Oh man. Okay, bye. It, what? It, oh my god! Shit! Don't tell me! Go! 
No, no, oh no, oh no! Please tell me it's like a phase on Metroid. Ah! Oh, it's a fucking Metroid. They brought one along. They brought him. Brought along. <laughs> oh, we found their sister site. Oh shit! That's actually very bad. It's very bad. Well, time to eradicate all the Metroids here too. Oh well. I'm good at it at this point! I was about to say, just another uh, notch in the belt. Did I, we can basi I'm basically oh, Metroid right. Exterminator Extraordinaire! <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever get the feeling that they just sent you here as a convenient way of cleaning up Metroids? I came here to take care of Bravo Team, but this turned into a whole thing! You, you've got to know that, you know, saving Bravo Team was part B of the mission. The first part was, hey, we heard there were Metroids here. But then again, the Federation is, you know, no stranger to being like, oh, Metroids, cool things. Metroids are not pets. Metroids are not for target practice. Finally, unauthorized feeding of Metroids is strictly prohibited. Especially after midnight. Oh, Talon Metroid. There they are. Energy craving parasite. I can't believe they brought them here! Oh, man. Good job, boys. You... You actively made me interested in this entire ecosystem. Uh, hey, this, hey, this Whoa. here. This is a space pirate that they just kind of threw in there, and they're just, j just periodically feeding off of him. He's oh! He's still alive. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah, it's even worse. Don't like that. Yeah, jeez. Oh, I love how they try to go after you. Great, ah, great detail. Yeah, oh, they know. They know who I am. I thought you just unlocked the doors. It's like, no, 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 what? The Hunter. Hey, that's me! Samus Aran, the accursed hunter, has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> the sudden arrival of the hunter is strange enough, but her actions are stranger still. She does not seek our destruction, but our <gasps> phase on. Oh shit! With each raid, she steals phase on or uh -oh. only killing those who attempt to, to, uh -oh. to bang her. What she needs it for, we don't know. Though oh, science no. team success feature requires it to power her new oh, armor suit. No. Dark in color, it is equipped with strange oh, new weapons. No. The troops now call her the Dark Hunter. It is a fitting title. Oh, and she rips pirates apart. Oh, oh. man. There's so many things happening at once in all these different uh -oh. stories. I'm loving this. This is way more interesting than. Oh, uh, excuse oh, me. Hi, right. hi, excuse this, me. Is way, this is way better than Metroid Prime 1. I'm sorry. Still a really good game, though. Holy shit, that's so great. God, I know, I know! You just think, why is the hunter here? Why is she wearing black? Is she in her goth stages? No, she's just gonna come in and kick down the door. Why is she eating all of our phase on? And why isn't she talking? Why is she just breathing menacingly? Why does she have feet? Uh, mm -hmm. uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Aha, another oh, form oh, hi, of- guys. These, these guys are a little tougher. Hey, the pirate! Uh, uh, arrow troopers. The arrow troopers. Yeah. Airborne guys, they're a little bit, uh, a little, little bit tougher here. <laughs> the thermal damage. Only because they really, they, they move really fast and they can, like, avoid your shit like that. They're, yeah. they're, 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 little, 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 they're little flying penises, that's what they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, br bringing in the hot ones. There we go, this is this is how we get 10 million subscribers. <laughs> Bring on the dicks. Penis! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> We got it! That's why they call him Woody Woodpecker! <laughs> Pecker! That's oh. your went to penis again! I don't get it. That's, that's just all sorts of dicks. Wow, yeah. I never even realized that Woody Woodpecker was just the, the greatest innuendo ever made. Alright, music's gonna change here. Ooh, we you know what that you know what that means? Need to adjust our hand real quick. That means it's puzzle time. Ooh, I like it's puzzles. It's time for a puzzle. This one's a pretty good one. I hope you figure out this puzzle. Uh I think I will. I think I will. There's no way we were doing this live. I mean, what? So we scan this, and it basically opens up all those terminals on the other side of the room. Okay. But it also pushes these columns all the way to the ceiling. And there's the door we need to go through. So we need to lower the platforms. We need to basically build a staircase. Okay, Leading okay. up to there. That's fun. With our space jump, we can just barely get above the first block there. And we gotta build a staircase. And here's how we do it. This is the Alpha Power Storage Rack Position Monitor. This basically takes care of this one on the right here. The guide I'm writing, uh, uh the guide I'm reading, uh, questions how the space pirates know about Earth Greek numbers, but, you know, hey. Eh. Probably sounded cool when they read one of the books from K2 or whatever. Alright, so every time you scan one of these, it shifts one of these down. And for the other one I was scanning, it shifts them up. Oh. So do this one three times. Okay. To start out. So then we got this guy. This guy is Delta. We probably just lower by two. This guy we lower twice. 
Okay. Where he will Boom. be our centerpiece, as it were. Boom. Oh, yeah, you still gotta keep the pieces up. And this uh, over upwards. here is Gamma. Cool. We scan this guy only once. All right, we have officially used all the magnet warriors. Let's go. But the stairs are leading to the wrong way. Shit. <laughs> well, uh, it's fine. We can figure this out. Yes, we can figure this out. Because there's a second. Because oh! there's an E-Tank! That's why. Come you did here, it. beautiful! Okay. You got me. Now we gotta make it go the other way. No, easy. It is easy. Just do what we did, but opposite. It, yeah, you, you can even take out a step. Oh, yeah. You only have to do the first and third one. Scan that guy twice. Bam, got it. You can skip this guy. Just showing that you can skip it. That's fine. Move over here. And... We scan this guy twice. Boom. Oh, other one. Oh. Boom. One, Boom. two, three... And now it is complete. I didn't even notice you were doing it the opposite way of what you should have been doing. I was just sitting here, just eyes wide and going, Wow! This seems complicated, but I really like this puzzle. Whee! Just figuring out how, how it works at first, it's, it's just... Good, good design. I like it. And... Got it. Now for Dark Samus. Alright. Oh, never mind. We have time to, for a maze is what it's time for. To go into an ear. The, oh. So you just got an E tank, which means you're probably ready to take this on. You gotta go the long way around, of course. You know, it's one of those morph ball loading zones and all that. But they got these lasers that fire out. They don't knock you back, they just constantly do damage. Oh. And they uh, will hurt a lot. Yeah. But don't fret so much about getting hit by them. It won't matter too much, you'll see why. If you, like, if you come by with the skin of your teeth, you'll be fine. You can even just brute force the whole way through if you're feeling daring. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it, but you can. Because these things drain your health pretty damn fast. Yeah, I saw that. You weren't in it for, what, more than a couple seconds? Yeah, get... yeah that's hurt. that hurts. And this one's just basically, ow, you're just ow, completely ow, exposed. Ow. Oh, that was almost an entire E-Tank. Oh, God, that was like half of one. Oh, jeez. All right. Got it. I think we've undid that lock, so we're good now. Because we're here at a safe station. Nice little treat. Yeah. It's a nice little, uh, just, uh, very convenient. Mm -hmm. Nice, convenient place to have it. Okay, ready That's, to go. What's also convenient is behind here we have a log note. Log 67135. Security breach. <laughs> the Dark Hunter is here. The Dark Hunter teleports yeah. into the base at will. Our security... <laughs> has proven next to useless against her. Her latest raid was disastrous. Not only did she we lose more phase onto her, but she also she also crippled the stealth field generator with her strange new weapons. We are exposed. Oh. Until the replacement generator arrives, we will be vulnerable to scans and detection. Our presence here is be minimal to the Federation find us. We will be unable to defend our position. Fortunately, Aether is on the fringe of the Federation space. With luck, we will have a stealth field back in effect before being detected. Oops, they were detected. Cause that's how Bravo team got here. So all of this is Dark Samus's fault. All of this is Dark Samus's fault because we we had the gall to beat Metroid Prime One 100. I wonder, what if that was her whole plan the entire time? I mean, obviously collecting Phazon to become more powerful, but what if this is a way to lure you here and kill you? I think she's still focusing as a fungus, but with like human thoughts. She wants to expand, grow, eat, consume. Consume and, and, all. and to yeah. do that, she needs phase on. And now that she's got like a tangible body that can move around and jump and stuff like that, it's gonna work out. <laughs> uh, I wonder where that dark hunter is anyway. Oh hey, it's the dark hunter. Hey, what's up? Sup, bitch? No, don't absorb the phase on. Oh, they're just eating all that fucking phase on. Oh god. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> the standoff. <laughs> yes! Yeah, what's up? And fight! Uh, okay. Oh, she's fast. And she's fast, and she's, she's powered up, and she can fly, and she can teleport. How are we gonna beat this thing? Alright, show me. This is Dark Samus! Oh, I love it. 
Uh, the, ah! One! What? Uh oh. Phase one. Phase on one. Phase on, phase on, phase on. Sure. Phase on, phase on. Phase on hurt. Ouch. Oh, Scans shit. indicate the presence of phase on in your genetic material within this identity. She wears a version of the various suit. Altered and augmented by the phase on within her. Primary weapons include the missile launcher and a scattershot variant of the power beam. Boost and jump abilities are superior to yours. The ability to generate phase on energy shields her as well. So, Nick. No wonder the pirates had trouble with her. But then again, the pirates have trouble with getting up in the morning. We got three E tanks, so I don't think it's it, this isn't too bad. Getting that uh, that thirty tank was certainly a good move. You're definitely dealing some hurt. I thought the the shields would prevent damage, and we had to like wait patiently. Well, but... the shields will get will get powered up later. She's just kind of toying with us right now. I love it. That scatter shot is certainly something. She can disappear and reappear. It's this is to, great. It's good to turtle up into a corner so she can't get you from behind, though. Just kind of. Maintain spatial awareness where you are, but then about halfway with her health down, power up. She some powers more. up. Now she can shield herself. Now she can fire missiles. Now she can torpedo herself right to you. Now these things that she destroys will create fire and they'll hurt you too. Oh, that's awesome. This is a great fight. So one thing I love. About <laughs> Never mind. God damn. Whatever I was gonna say it didn't matter. This bitch is crazy. <laughs> she shields herself when she does that, but it I know it looks like her shield is up, because that's what I thought. But uh Yeah, it like, doesn't seem like it just it, it seems like she's glowing. It's it's just glowy angry phase on, not yeah. her shield that what I thought. Oh, that's a shield though. Yeah, she's protected there. <laughs> okay, well, so one Whoa! one thing I kinda love about the Metroid community is a lot of people have drawn Dark Samus as a humanoid as such. You know, a dark counterpart to Samus. What I love Got her. is your description of she's just a giant fungus. Basically, you're making a humanoid fungus. B basically, and we killed it. It's gone. Awesome. Gone for good. Yep. Later. Gone, gone forever. Uh, yeah, run, 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 run. Phase on explodes. And to make sure their phase on producing capabilities are reduced even further, let's break everything. Pop. Great introduction. Well, we've won, right? Dark Samus is killed. We've defeated her. We're the victors. I don't like that the Phazon's in the air. Go us. We did it. We won. <laughs> the more you say it, the less I believe you. Now, before we go up that elevator, uh, let's go ahead and scan this over here. Pure Phazon. Ooh, baby! Volatile ore with biomutagenic properties. Origin point of phase on unknown, first detection of element on planet Talon 4, and it produces vast levels of energy. And it also kind of, I don't know, uh, creates uh, sentient cancer, but yeah, let's not worry about that. Energon. Pure power. Hmm. Oh, that was it. That, 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 that uh, was okay. it. Well, I, guess we, I guess we just peace out, uh, and there it is. Another quick little log note here. The finish beauty. up uh, cycle six, log six nine <laughs> eight nine eight. It just says panic. The dark hunter. The local is here. war has escalated in intensity. Yep. Shadowlings <laughs> from Dark Ether have launched an offensive. The assault seems focused on a central network of buildings atop a mountain, a base perhaps. Strangely, this attack coincides with the rise in planetary instability. Perhaps these shadowy creatures are uh, using a new weapon system. Shadowlings must believe us to be foes, for they have hit our base numerous times as well. We are holding, but attrition is taking its toll on our troops and resources. Reinforcements are en route. We can only wait and defend what is ours. And I think those reinforcements that they were sending were caught up by the Federation dudes. Oops. And that's, how, that's what brought them here, and... This is all just one big fucking mess on top of another big fucking mess. I love it. But what's not a mess is this thing right here. The Dark Beam. Love that shade of purple. And the beginning of our ammo problems. No, it's separate ammo? The Dark Beam has separate ammunition. And we only have 50 shots to start. The Dark Beam is, of course, used to open up dark energy doors and stuff like that, and... The ammo problem is not as bad as I thought it was, but still pretty dire, especially early on. But we can do things to fix that, you'll see. 
For this thing here, you, I thought we'd need, like, you know, a light crystal to work on the light crystal there, but nope. Dark crystal? Or, uh, light crystal, dark energy. Then it opens. Really? Yep. But, huh. for the, but for those, you need the corresponding energy. That's where we're supposed to go next, but we're not going there yet. We're done for today. Because we got a lot to do after this, too. I am beat. I am beat. I also want to show that if you really need a... You need a, a thumb suck in after that Dark <laughs> Samus fight. It's uh, effortless to just make your way back here. And then slide your way back into the save station. Does this also refill all your dark energy? No. What? There is a special way to refill your dark energy. Uh. And to do that, we're going to need the counterpart to the dark beam. The light beam. Gotcha. You kill enemies with the light beam, you get dark beam energy. Oh. You kill enemies with the with the dark beam, you get light ammo energy. They pull an Ikaruga. So here's something, here, here's some trivia. This is Stave Station C. Okay. In the Wii version, this is Stave Station B. They got rid of a save station? There is no save station B. Oh. In the Aegon Wastes. Oh dear. Just to show you, you know, Again, they did a, they did a phenomenal job for the time that they had, but there's still some minor errors here and there. That's just a, a neat little one that you can wow. show your friends. It's like, yeah, I'll give you 50 bucks if, if you can find Safe Station B in uh, Aegon <laughs> Waste. <laughs> just make sure you're playing the GameCube version, though. Go, go ahead, idiot. So if your dark ammo is depleted, the only way you can fire ammo because you need to get you need to get places is to do a charge shot to do one normal okay, shot. Okay, they don't leave you out in the desert. But this is still kind of dire. And you really kind of need this to, to to make your way through some things. Mm. But this ammo problem will fix itself going forward. And uh, it this is where things are going to get a lot harder. The difficulty is ramping up as we speak. And it'll ramp up further next time on Metroid Prime 2.